jig fishing right over them, folks. It's fall, get ready. Big fish about to go in the boat, no doubt about it. And we just caught that fish. We're gonna get the seer bait falling right to the fish. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. That's right, folks, live scope on brush piles. Get ready, we're about to put some major slabs in the boat. Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Three Pound Fishing, folks. We're gonna be going over live scope. We're gonna be using the Active Captain map, so it's gonna be crisp, it's gonna be clear. You're gonna get the see your bait falling right to the fish. That's what we're doing today. We're going to go fishing brush piles with the Active Captain Matt app. Jig fishing right over them, folks. It's fall, get ready. Big fish about to go in the boat, no doubt about it. Active Captain, here we go. Should be like a superhero or something. I'm so excited to have it back, folks. 8612 rocks, love it. That's all it is. It's just super beautiful. There's no fat around it, so it's small, compact, but yet you get the 12 inch screen and you get the best quality they have to offer. It's the fact that you don't have any real favorite buttons. It's quite a little process that if you want to jump back and forth between maps. And I like to use the maps on a Garmin unit on lakes and rivers that I do not know because their maps are awesome. Now, do I use it on my own lake? No, of course not. Do I use it pretty much anywhere else? Pretty much no. I mean, it has to be pretty much a lake I don't know, but um, I like having the option. I like having the ability to jump back and forth quickly. You can jump back and forth, but it's not quick. Now, these fish are roughly 12, 13 foot down. Uh, let me put it on active cap. Boat control first though. We're gonna go around it. We talk about this in other episodes. Boat control is the most important thing when you're dealing with an active captain or if you're dealing with live scope, you can't be floating by it and thrusting over the fish and stuff like that. So put yourself in a good position. So we're gonna turn all the way around, go around this pile and then put our nose in the correct position. So I'm bringing it closer. Those are really good marks on this pile. Check that out, that is solid. So they're right now, they're right now they're hitting 20 feet. And those are good marks. So I'm gonna stay off as much as I can. I'm gonna pitch to it. I'm gonna bring this down to 20. Those marks are just gonna get better and better. So I slot, I stopped my boat. Now here, watch this. You're gonna see my bait just coming straight in. There it is. And again, I know where it's gonna fall to, so I don't care that I don't, I'm not seeing exactly everything, but look at those fish. Good night. There it was. Folks, it don't get much easier than that. That's how it's done right there. Using your active captain, positioning your boat, that all happened live. You shouldn't even have, there's not, shouldn't be one edit with that. That's a solid 11 incher. Good solid eater. Look at that pile, that pile's, I mean, there's not a ton of fish on it, but I mean, I'm expecting, to, I'm hoping to get three fish off this really. Three fish and I would be happy. But they look like quality fish. Look at that, another one. Now sometimes you'll kick these fish off these piles and they'll create a school. And then you can find, I saw that a school had kind of got created. There it is right there. See how they're just going everywhere right now? And there it was another one. So that, they, they were spooked off that pile, but they're sticking together. There's another one. So that's our third fish, all within mm, under four minutes. This is a better fish. That's a good fish, that's a solid fish. Look at these guys, they're swarming right underneath the boat. These are the same fish we just kicked off this pile. So I'm trying to catch it up to them. They're right here, they're right underneath the boat right now. And there's the, that's the fourth fish off that same pile Oh, oh, this is a better fish too. This is a 12. This is a 12, 12 and a half. So we spooked them off and then we stayed with it. Stayed with it. And I'm telling you, it has a lot to do with that boat control. Look at that. That is a freaking awesome fish. That is good stuff. You gotta love that, folks. If you like this type of content, do me a favor, subscribe. 
come on we just we just positioned ourselves great on a on a brush pile we caught one spooked some off took notice of that followed those fish and, to, and caught what four more fish right away we're under five minutes on this pile this is not a pile i ever fish rarely do i fish this pile the reason why i bring that up is go look at the piles that you you haven't fished in a long time with live scope you'd be surprised by what's by what's there this isn't really the pile right here is that still on yeah it is still on this looks like it's just a stump but i see some fish down there so i'm just curious and we just caught that fish you should have seen that on active captain Ooh, baby saw 11 right there This is all live, folks. Not no edits, no nothing. That's how quick it happens. It happens that quick. Now we've kind of followed that school over here, so we're gonna go right back to that pile. All right, there's a lot of fish left there. See how they were all down low? Let me get in position again. It has a lot to do with position. And this is, a, you know, I talk about it a lot, and so does a lot of the other guys. It, it's time on the water. You, you can't go out here and expect to be able to follow schools around and be a, an expert at it, it unless you're doing it constantly. And we're, I'm obviously doing it a lot with the guide trips and, and doing these videos. There's a lot of fish here. There it is. We could fill a bucket up today, folks. Easily. Easily. Good night. So equipment wise, I've got the, what do I have? The 11 or the 10 in front of me right now? So this is a 10 footer, three pound fishing elite series from Ozark rods. Check them out. Great rods. The feedback's been phenomenal. They're extremely light and they're not super, super stiff. Folks, we want you to feel the fish. We want you to be able to set the hook. It doesn't have to be stiff. It can be light and it can be, it doesn't, this has got enough, just enough backbone for you to set that hook nice and solid, but light enough for you to enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? There's another one. This video is awesome. Just, I hope you're seeing that all at Active Captain. I mean, nonstop. Now you see those fish coming from behind the trolling motor. So I'm gonna let the wind take me just so that I can position on those fish. It's like a school. There they are. So they came through. Now they're just staying right back here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow these fish. You can see how they're down low right now. It means they've been spooked a little bit. So now they're gonna start coming up. And as they come up, we want them meeting that bait. Very important. Well, that didn't work. Just to remind everybody, I do have merchandise, three pound fishing hats. I wish I should start wearing these hats, but I'll tell you what, I'll show you. I'll show you the hats. I got some in the boat. I always sell them at the uh, guide trips. See, if you go on a guide trip with me, I give you a discount on a rod. I sell the rods. I also sell the hats. Awesome. Awesome. See, I'm missing a couple actually in there too. So a different variety. Check it out at 3-Pound Fishing at 3-PoundFishing.com. The number 3-PoundFishing.com. I've got so many of them. 
I just picked up the first hat. I, what did I pick up? The rice hat, I think. $25. Oh, we had one. Holy moly. Active captain just started. Just now. Bam. That is a lot of fish. A lot of good marks. This is something you might want to consider just casting to. They're right at that eight foot number. I fully expect to catch a ton of fish here. <laughs> this is Oh my gosh. They look active. They look big. They're chomping on it, but they're missing it. There it is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for proving to me that those were crappie. The mark is much better on the camera or on the screen than, than that fish is giving us. Very interesting. We like a thump though. Wow. That is a beautiful picture. They just look like good fish. Holy, what a great day. Hey folks, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Hey, subscribe, do me a favor, subscribe. Let's build this sucker. We got a great winter ahead of us. Three pound fishing, guide service. Hey, just a great time to be fishing right now. Holy moly, holy moly. Thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.